I wonder if you can just talk us through a few of the shortcuts that you were using to to speed up your workflow there. I know you mentioned Mechanicus a couple of times as we've been talking. Um, I'm interested to hear about that. But first, can we talk about any native Excel shortcuts that you're using and how they're helping? One of the primary things that, that I was doing is I was using navigational shortcuts. So I was using, you know, either control and the arrow keys to move up and down to different occupied cells, or um, sometimes to select across a row, I was using control shift in the right arrow or control shift down to select a whole grouping. Uh, and that was helping a lot to speed things up. Uh, much much quicker than trying to you know grab a an array or a group of cells with the mouse. Yes, for sure. Um, that can be a really quick one. And then um, also here, as an example, I'm I'm tapping the F4 key, which repeats the last command. So if the last thing I did was put something in bold, then I can just select other cells and tap F4, and it also will put those things into bold. So that's a helpful one as well. Okay, maybe you can show us now a couple of um, Mechanicus shortcuts. Um, and, and before you do that, can you tell us what exactly Mechanicus is? Mm -hmm. Certainly, yeah. So Mechanicus is a um, it's an add-in that can be installed into Microsoft Office. So mm -hmm. it installs into Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. Uh, one of the things that it offers is you know literally hundreds of customizable keyboard shortcuts. So you can, a, per, a person that's already using the keyboard can make themselves even faster uh, by using Macabacus. And it also, it also allows you to program sort of your, your corporate branding. So you can, you can put specific colors into the palette in Macabacus yeah. and then call up those colors really quickly when you're doing formatting, like, like what, what we were doing. It, perhaps you can show us an example or two. Sure. So um, as an example, I guess up here, you can see this light blue color across the top mm -hmm. where the, the label is for the income statement. Well, by using this control shift K shortcut, I can cycle through pre-programmed colors. And as you can see, quickly get to that light blue color um, at the top here where I'm looking for this dark blue color across here. I can quickly again cycle through to get to that color really, really fast. Macabacus also, you would have noticed, Seb, as we were doing this little competition that the numbers, the headings across the top were were formatted as like, you know, 2023 F, for example, for forecast. And I'm oh, able yeah. to cycle through uh, date formats to quickly get to that that format of having an F for a forecast or having an A for an actual You've uh, you've caught me. That's actually something else I didn't do in the uh, yeah. with my finished one. So something else that I missed so to add some time to mine. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Speaking of the colors, that's actually one thing I found difficult was as I was trying to match the the example output. Mm -hmm. I went into the color picker. I was looking at the blues, and I couldn't find one that matched exactly. So I, I don't think I've got it quite on brand. Um, mm. I guess I could have gone into the and written a specific hex code, but again, that adds more time. So I can see how having the the pre-programmed brand colors would help a lot there. Actually, it really helps. Yeah, and it ensures that you get the exact RGB code that you're looking for. The other the other shortcut that I did use was that you'll notice that the the inputs are all in blue and the calculated cells are in black, which is standard for financial models. W one of the things I did, which I'll demonstrate now, is I just selected that entire bank of numbers and I hit control shift A. Well, let me put them into black first. So now they're all in black and then I hit control shift. I actually hit control alt A and it just auto colors that entire selection. So the software detects where the inputs are and makes them blue. And it makes all the calculated cells black. Oh, well, that saves you a ton of time. Mm, it saves tons of time because you can do it. I did it for a selection, but you can do it for an entire sheet as mm -hmm. well or for an entire file. If someone's trying to start using the keyboard over the mouse, mm -hmm. is there any way you'd recommend they start? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's It's a good idea to... If, if you're trying to quit the mouse, um, physically move it away, <laughs> like put it to the back of your desk, because otherwise you just keep reaching for it because it's, it's a habit that you've picked up over years. Mm. The other thing which can be helpful is taking a 
a keyboard shortcut sheet and, and putting it up where you can clearly see it. Some people would even tape it, you know, to the side of their monitor. So it's, it's right up near the area where they're working um, so that they can glance over at those keyboard shortcuts when they're trying to learn them. Yeah. It's definitely a good way to do it. Yeah, that's a good tip. Um, you've also... Um, those of you, what, hey, go on. Oh, I was just going to say, like, you, you've also got to really persevere and stick with it. Like, it's... Mm -hmm. The, you know, the day that you decide to switch, it's really going to feel awkward and uncoordinated and inefficient. And it'll probably feel that way for a few days, maybe even into the second week. And then and then sometime I, I find during the second week is when you get to the point where you actually start feeling more comfortable with the keyboard and you start to actually prefer it. And then once you get it, you will never look back and you'll never go back to the mouse again. Do you even have a mouse? Oh, I, I do, because once in a while, there's something that has to be done with a mouse because there's no keyboard shortcut for it. So I yeah. reach over for it. But it does gather quite a bit of dust. It, it, I, don't, I don't touch it very much, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for taking part in the race. And uh, mm -hmm. I was fairly confident I, was I would lose, and, and sure enough, I did. But for those of you who are wanting to practice your uh, your keyboard shortcuts in Excel, uh, you'll find this cheat sheet uh, available for download in the next video.